Okay, so we're here with Kevin Moldenhauer after Trucks win over Next Gen 1511. Uh, talk to me about some of your first impressions from the game. Uh, first impressions. Uh, it was the big difference in the game for both teams was the tough defense. You saw in the first half there were a lot of layout bids on both sides of the field, and against a young team like this, that's that's the best way to win is to come out and be just as aggressive as they are. Um, I was very impressed with how patient they were. Uh, they worked the disc better than I've seen a young team do in a while. And they, uh, we shut them down several times on in cuts. They just kept patiently swinging the disc and then then looking for the big shots. Where if you watch the videos, they were jacking a lot earlier than tonight. So it's good to see they're they're definitely getting better for sure. Yeah, were you guys ever getting? There were a couple times where they played some pretty lockdown defense themselves near their own red in their own defensive red zone. Were you guys getting frustrated at all, or were you guys okay with you know just swinging it back and forth 40 times? Uh, especially on that that one defensive. Play, uh, yeah, it was frustrating. I mean, we got to have cuts from the back, but they were really tight on us, and it seemed every time we got starting a swing, we couldn't continuation onto the opposite side of the field. So, yeah, that was very difficult. Yeah. Have you seen Cantor recently? We're trying. No. He's not my son really. Fine, fine. Sorry. Mid-interview Yeah, it's cool. It's an <laughs> ultimate game. What do you uh, What do you think about this crowd that came out to check you guys out? This is awesome. This is great. Uh, I was looking on Facebook and there was big numbers, so I was expecting a big crowd, but coming out in 100 degree weather, can't complain, man. It's awesome. Yeah, absolutely. What's uh, What's next on the plate for a truck? Uh, so uh, tomorrow we have a Ron Robin just with the DC local teams, and then uh, for us, what we feel are really the, the main tournament to start the season is Colorado, which is uh, coming up next. Weekend. So we're pretty excited about heading out there. Uh, we won it last year, so hopefully defend our title. Yeah, you guys got a full squad, you think, coming out there, oh, close yeah. to it? Oh, yeah, we might have one or two guys missing, but you know, everyone's going. Everyone's committed from this point on. So. Awesome. All right, well, Kevin Moldenauer, thanks for talking to Sky Magazine, and best of luck the rest of the season. Great, no problem. Thank cool. You. So we're here with uh, Nikki Spiva after Next Gen's 15-11 uh, loss to Truck. Uh, Nikki, what are your uh, first thoughts about this game? Um, first thoughts are. A lot of errors and uh, didn't shut down their unders. Um, truck got a lot of deep cuts and then beat us under for big yardage gains. Um, off the bat, we looked pretty good defensively, really contained their rounds. Um, they were looking for the around backhand pretty much exclusively the whole way through. And they, once we stopped that, they wouldn't go to the I.O. And the few times they went to the I.O., rinse and turnovers. So it was like sweet, 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 but then their cutters started shredding us down the field. And we had, a, you know, we had a couple of drops, which which hurt us and mentally down. I mean, I think excuses. There's plenty that could be made for us. I mean, we went out and lost it. Excuses I could count on. You know, three and a half hour clinic in 102 degree sun, poor, you know, sleeping stuff. But none of that really matters. You know, we just kind of got to play better. Got to stay together as a team. Yeah. What do you uh, What do you think about Trucks' defense? It definitely seems like it was a step up from what you saw earlier this week in Raleigh and maybe even against Chain. Um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I was playing more D points and O points. Okay. I thought they um, they definitely had a. I'd say their deeper roster here made the man-to-man -man defense significantly more intense than Chain. Mm -hmm. Chain had some poaches and stuff because they probably had 15 guys and Truck came with a pretty full roster. So right. it was pretty good at intense man D. Yep. Um, and they definitely, you know, got some turns out of us. You know, they were tight enough to make those deep shots, a couple of them not connect, and, you know, they were playing running hard man D. Yeah. So definitely I'd say, you know, it's been more intense probably than we've experienced recently. Word. So what's the, uh, what's the status of the bus? Is it back and rocking? Bus is an emotional roller coaster. It's dead. 99% chance, 95% chance. Okay. Um, you know, there's eternal hope that we can revive the bus. Right. We've probably had three times it's broken down since leaving Atlanta, and three times it's revived and worked. And we've gotten all like totally down, like, oh my god, it's not working. We have to sleep at a gas station tonight. <laughs> To totally up, it's back on. We're taking the bus, we're touring, we're gonna play Catan and N64 and Smash. So it's just been an emotional roller coaster with the bus. But regardless of whether it's working or not, the bus will live on in our hearts and in our stenciled wife beaters. Okay, that's really encouraging. And uh, how about this crowd that you guys got tonight? How does this compare to some of the other crowds you guys have seen? Pretty sure it's the biggest crowd yet. Um, almost positive it's the biggest crowd yet. I hope people donated um, because, you know, it costs a lot to repair the bus and just to, uh, you know, 
have the bus break apart. <laughs> right. And uh, yeah, this was awesome to have such a huge crowd. I didn't quite realize it till the end when we went and thanked the fans, and it was like, holy crap, the stands are totally filled, and there's people like in the little mini stands too to the side. So that was really awesome to have a big, huge crowd out. And, like kids and their dads coming up and saying like thank you and that like, they love the clinic. I mean, that just feels awesome. Absolutely. So uh, if you could play the series with Next Gen or Chain. Uh, <laughs> can you can you give a straight yeah, answer? Battle of Allegiance. Cody went. I'd play with Rhino, but he said right. that only because he slighted Rhino in previous interviews. Yeah. Um, I would say I would play with Chain. Okay. Only because Will Deaver would stick his fist up me for trying to create an out of region all star team. Okay. Even yeah. No, he's a good guy and he's yeah, awesome. that does a lot for the sport, but Guillermo and Copenhagen. I was gonna say that happened with GYC, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean he's a great guy. He does so much for the sport. It's just really hard logistically for the out of region team to work for them to get that going. But right. uh, I wish you could have college players play where they are in the summer together. Right. That'd be super cool. Yeah. And Vote he... for the amendment, John Terry, we have legislation. Sweet. Um, uh, what are your thoughts going ahead? You got Southpaw tomorrow? Um, we got a good night's sleep. No clinic tomorrow, which means we get to rest. Uh, got to get in shade, get AC. And we just got to come out hot. We came out hot tonight. We just got to stay positive and roll. Um, you know, we got to cut down on the errors and kind of clean up on the offensive patience. When we're running our dump, step, dump set well, nobody's really shutting it down. The times where we get screwed or where we look too late, or where, you know, maybe we don't have the front of the stack coming off or somebody's not ready to be that second option. Right. Um, so we just got to be patient. We're going to be fine. You know, this so much athleticism and talent. When we're patient. We're on. I feel like we're, you know, golden. But Absolutely. It's, you got to get over some emotional, mental hurdles. Be patient. Just really be ready to work hard as a player. We got yeah. a lot of captains coming together. Right. And, uh, and we're gelling as a team. It's, you know, rocky road, but we're definitely gelling as a team. Everybody's... Super tight. It's been awesome. It's so much fun. Sweet. Cool. Well, Nikki Spiva, thanks for talking with Sky Magazine, and good luck the rest of the way. All right. Thanks, Ian. All right.